Vitamin D helps in regulating the amount of calcium and phosphate in the human body. Calcium and phosphate are needed to keep bones, muscles and teeth healthy. According to some reports, vitamin D helps in reducing the risk of coronavirus. However, there is not enough evidence to support this. Lack of vitamin D can lead to bone deformities such as rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. Vitamin D deficiency is very common. It's estimated that 1 billion people worldwide have low levels of vitamin D in their body. Symptoms of vitamin D deficiency includes fatigue, bone pain, muscle weakness, muscle aches, muscle cramps, mood swings, and it may cause depression. Best sources of vitamin D is sunlight. This is why it is also known as sunshine vitamin. The body creates vitamin D from direct sunlight on the bare skin when you are outdoors. Vitamin D is found in some foods, but in very small quantities. Food sources that include some amount of vitamin D are oily fish such as salmon, mackerel, sardines and herring, liver, free-range egg yolks, red meat and vitamin D fortified foods available in the market. Babies from birth to the age of 1 year needs 8.5 to 10 micrograms of vitamin D per day. Children from the age of 1 year and adults need 10 micrograms of vitamin D per day. Sometimes the amount of vitamin D is expressed as IU on dietary supplements. 1 microgram is equal to 40 IU. So your recommended daily intake that is 10 micrograms is equal to 400 IU. Adults greater than 70 years of age are recommended to consume 800 IU of vitamin D daily. Breastfed babies from birth to 1 year of age should be given a daily supplement containing 8.5 to 10 microgram vitamin D per day. Formula fed babies should not be given vitamin D supplement until they are drinking 500 milliliter of infant formula daily as infant formulas are already fortified with vitamin D. Children aged 1 to 4 years should be given a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D. But since it's difficult to get enough vitamin D from food alone, everyone including pregnant and lactating mothers should consider taking a dietary supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D. If you have dark skin, for example, you have South Asian, African or African Caribbean background, you may also not get enough vitamin D from sunlight. So you should consider taking daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D throughout the year. The best and natural source of vitamin D is the sunlight we get early in the morning. But if you live in a country where you do not get exposure to the sun throughout the year, you should consider taking vitamin D supplement. Taking too much vitamin D supplements over a long period of time can cause too much calcium to build up in the body. This can weaken your bones and damage the kidneys and the heart. If you choose to take vitamin D supplements, 10 microgram a day will be enough for most of the people. Do not overdose on vitamin D and always consult your doctor before starting any supplements. If you like my videos, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications.